so that's our car that solved a mystery in a way that I didn't expect. This could be our new bed. <laughs> We've got all this area down here. Oh, there's also some stairs to go up. Is someone smoking? Through the broken glass, dusty shelves and a forgotten chair. I wanna go in here. Uh, oh, I've got so much exploring to do and we also need to go back now to do something. I forgot what it was. Oh, I don't like the look of this. You see a dark red chair in the dim light of the room. It's a bit spooky, no? Oh! A bow tie? And another postcard. Put the postcard down here to sell. Look at us! Is it blood red? <laughs> Maybe. I'm keeping my dramatic bow tie on. Is it blood red? I can't tell. The drama, look at how dramatic we look. This is a creepy little room, like... I hope we don't end up in there against our will. <laughs> We know, right, there's also a path up here, but before I go that way, I want to go over here and see what's over here. The underside of the boat has recently been tarred. Oh, that, all right, okay, we're going, oh, stop. <laughs> Box. Ah, plastic. I'll take it. Cinder blocks charred. Makeshift fire pit with magazines for lighting. Oh, people. Uh, sounds of life in the north. A washboard scrubs filth from fabric. Okay, let's go over here first. Alas Vusen. Is this the fishing vill the fishing part? <gasps> oh Kingdom of Conscience We're getting full up on clothes. Oh we've got a scrolly bar it looks. What does this mean? Moralist pants. Tailored trousers in light brown, moderate in every aspect. They are absolutely unremarkable. In other words, perfect. Mm. These are some wonderfully regular pants. Not too tight, not too loose, moderate in every sense. You blend right in at some pleasant dinner party. <laughs> okay. Um, if that is not blood, it seems messily painted. <laughs> Brock strikes again. Oh god. Uh, I like regular normal things. Basic bitch. Mm -hmm. I know you do. These inter-Isolari pants are like wearing a perfect compromise in your nether regions. No one will call the moral intern on you like this. That's for sure. Not too tight. Not too loose. Just snug. You're a little more moralist now, buddy. A little more normal, even if you didn't want to be. Oh, a les Valsen may mean go away. Uh oh, I guess we're probably not welcome. I am gonna change my trousers back though. Composure was it? Oh, trackies. I'm gonna put my trackies on. Oh, there we go. Back to this look. <laughs> look at us. <laughs> okay, um...
You see dust covered linens, dried tulips on a bed. Dried tulips? So we've got people over this side. White curtains have been drawn shot, shut, no looking in. It's definitely pronounced more like Ale Vusen. Okay. Quick travel unlocked? Wait, what? Where? How? Why? When? Don't just flash up like that and then vanish. Did I read that right? A wetting stone, well worn and covered in rust. Did I read that right? Oh look, there's so many people here. Construction material. Whoever planned to build this house left in a hurry. And left their savings. Don't mind if I do. I am going to have a better look around, a more thorough look around after. I'll clean this up for you, so don't worry about it. Ooh. A drop in temperature, an easy flow of air, an empty street. Before you, a thoroughfare unjammed with lorries. No more drivers smoking on hitch steps. Just silence. Uh, what did the smoke smell like? Chemically sweetened. Across the road, a forgotten bus stop. Corrosion has opened a hole in its roof. An elm tree watches over the building. Its branches are dripping with rain and snow. Okay. The road is smooth and motley. Craters filled with a black asphalt. The asphalt first laid is grey already. A row of tenements are under construction in the distance. Who are the people? A tub warm with water, white with soap. A man bathes while radio waves transmit the lottery numbers. Four, eighteen, twenty-one, four, one. A modern washing machine rattles a drawer full of silverware. What about the bus stop? Number 312D. Young girls used to come here huddled up hoping for more warmth than their thin coats give them. The bus took them to school. It has not run for eight years. There were not enough girls to sustain its cost. Is this now here? What about the road? Craters pocked the surface. Children played in them until heavy trucks full of black pitch rolled in. The landowners have filled the craters with money. It is a vital artery of the flow of trade. Is he talking about this hole in the ground? The wind moves the aerosol. A detective stands behind the boom barrier. A breeze moves a curl of his hair. Okay. What is in here? It's telling me I got something. I think it could be in the map. No, maybe I read it wrong. It just flashed up for like a second. I have no idea. <laughs> we climb. We can't. Oh. Oh, this this roadblocks just in our way. We can't crawl underneath that. Damn. Okay. Right, we do want to talk to people as well, but I just want to have a better look around first. Oh, the smoke was coming from the chimneys. You can't see into the house from this angle. It's locked tight. Oh, this is a different language. Maybe we won't really get to talk to many people here. So this is... All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops. No 
and see what's over here and then talk to this person first. What are these doing in the fish? Uh oh. What did we find? Oh! Boots! Boots! I wanted boots! Perception. Right, I could put my perception boots on and my composure trousers. Ah, we looking smart. Um, you investigated the first travel is quite tricky to use and is on the map where available. Huh. I'm not that bothered anyway, I guess. Like, it doesn't... It doesn't take in-game time to walk somewhere, I think, does it? So, it should be fine. This boat is floating freely in the water, unmoored. That's dangerous. Bye-bye, boat. It's a robot, Crafty. Flashbacks. The ladder leads to a school of fish swimming in the kelp. Whoa. We should remember they're there. Just in case. Alright, hi. Hi, officer. You arrived here. This is where you sold your mermaid gem, right? Lillian, the nip. No, not the nip picker. The net picker. That's a different job. Um, aye, officer. Okay. A woman in a raincoat stands on the quarry, considering an overturned boat. A sword in a scabbard hangs from her hip. This is someone we need to get to sign the letter, I think. Anything I can help you with? Uh, where are we exactly? A fishing village on the seashore. This place doesn't really have a name. It's sometimes called Illicibla. Illicibla. The sign on the street leading here is illegible. Has been since they built this place. That's a bit dumb. Why would you build a place with an illegible sign? Um. I have questions. The first is, what's your name? The name is Lillian. People call me Netpicker. I think I have time for questions. And that was actually the second one. Okay. Indeed, you're always confused as to your whereabouts. <laughs> Ask her about the cool sword. Helps to break the ice. Yeah, that's a good idea. Nice sword. Does it come with a story? Unfortunately, the factory sold this one with a three-year warranty instead of a story. <laughs> It's to intimidate folks, mostly. Do you know how to use it? Not really. I know some basic moves, and I know it sure as hell beats a knife when you're in a tough spot. Well, not really, though. I wouldn't fancy bringing a knife to a fight that had no weapons, because I would definitely get stabbed by it, whether it was my knife or not. Oh, well, it is imposing. A nod in approval. It's a regular mass-produced sword, like a shovel or an axe. Nothing fancy, just for intimidation. I think I'd carry an axe. I'm an axe person. Why do you need an intimidation tactic? From time to time, people need a lesson in respect. That's just the way it is. Back in the day, I caught the eyes of many men. <laughs> and believe me, men need a lesson in manners from time to time. I want to see this. <laughs> Uh, can I borrow that sword? No, I'm afraid not. Tempting to confiscate the blade I use to keep these animals in check. You would put me in an early grave. Oh my god, is it a bit rough around here? Uh, why don't more women arm themselves if it's so effective? What makes you think we haven't? <laughs> the truth is that almost everyone in this life is scared and tired and stupid and too dull for that. Scared, tired, stupid, and too dull. That goes for men too. But they put on an act for us. Pretend like everything's good and living in shit doesn't bother them. 
like anyone falls for that. Okay. That does not go for real men. It does not go for you. Show her. Show her the wonder. The wonder? Let's show her the wonder. Lesson one. Don't undo your trousers at the random woodman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we still want to though. <laughs> Physical instrument is on a suicide mission. Coach means the expression. Oh, not the not the physical instrument. Oh god. Uh <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Should I I might lose morale. Most people I've met are scared. I I, I didn't hit to on talk her about how frightened they are. But only frightened people are really dangerous. And plenty of them are dangerous. I hit on so many people. But I didn't hit on the one with a sword. Damn it. She's not afraid, however. Does that make her not dangerous? So where are all the men now? Some went to patch their wounds, their lesson learned. Others were more thick-headed. And one of them... I ended up marrying. Mm. Wait, why? If they're so, if they're thick-headed. Guess I enjoyed the way he bled. It's hard to tell if that's a joke. <laughs> if it is, then why the melancholy? Where is your husband now? Gone. Dead. Gone where? To the waves. Oh. The sea took him. It was a long time ago. Oh. Was he murdered? <laughs> I'm just gonna say oh and wait for it to continue. He didn't respect the sea. Went out there drunk like a skunk, and sure enough, one day the boat was found floating empty. The bloated corpse turned up two weeks later. Oh yikes! That is a nightmare. Also, it's kind of good that the cops showed up, so it's like confirmation. But it's still bad. Now, before you tell me how sorry you are for my loss, know that it was four years ago, and I've moved on. There's only so much mourning you can do for a drunk with sinewy muscles. So what is sinewy muscles? Sounds like something you'd do. In game, I mean... All oh, right, you mean... <laughs> you mean us? Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought I thought you were saying it sounds like I'd murdered him. <laughs> she really likes those muscles, though. It's in the way she pronounces sinewy. Okay. Uh... Uh... It's. Healthy to let go and move on. Gotta keep the wheels spinning. Us working folk don't have the luxury to be bed sick with melancholy. I buried him, mourned for an appropriate amount of time, and went on. Look at it. she's got fish and hook earrings. I've just noticed. Um, sinew is the stringy stuff that attaches muscles to bone. Oh. So is that a compliment? That means they're really attached to the bone? Life didn't really change that much for me and the kids. She glances at the village where two little kids are playing with what looks like rocks. Well, we've seen them in the distance, so we could go and talk to them, and we've got to try not to be creepy. This is neither a touchy nor a very interesting topic for her. Oh, she's bored of us? She looks like she's ready to go on a date with another, better, drunk. Oh. Ask her. Both of you could need some action. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Look at this. This sounds like we've got some hope. So we've got to find a good spot for a date. And we've got to come back at night when Kim's not here. Wearing our very best suggestion clothes. And we might get a date. 
like an actual date without creeping someone out. Um, all right. Uh, what do you do around here? Like I said, fish mostly. Sail the waves, take care of the kids, pick nets. Right now I'm tarring a little skiff. Oh yeah, we've seen that. Uh, what else? I sell the fish to people in the Delta to serve at their fancy restaurants. Authentic insular Indian cuisine. Oh, that's good. Is it enough to make a living? Sometimes I also walk to the beach to see what the sea has given up. The sea is full of surprises. That's true. This sounds like a... Like, that would be cool. Like, you'd find random stuff. Maybe you found a helmet? I'm kind of looking for a helmet. This sounds like extremely inappropriate, but she's not a suspect. She's just a random person. She's not. <laughs> we just met her out of exploring. Unless she's the eighth hardy boy. Um... Yeah, in, oh, walking on the beach sounds quite romantic. Oh, interesting, what have you found? Wood, pieces of glass. Every once in a while we see dead bodies. Human, animal, fish, other odd sea creatures. A mine washed ashore once. That sounds dangerous. Bottled, drugs also, lost cargo in general. Most of the time it's just wood and glass. All right, major choice moment. You only get to ask one thing. It would be weird to say them all. Choose wisely. Oh boy. Mines, mines. You need mines. <laughs> okay, we only get to ask about one thing. Human bodies, mines, drugs. <laughs> this place looks bad, why don't you leave? Uh, I mean, physical instrument wants to know about the mines. I want to know about the human bodies, but I'm going to ask about the mines, although it's going to be related to the revolution, probably. Woman, I have to keep stabbing men who tried to flirt with me. Noob, <laughs> sounds like we're well in here. <laughs> oh no. Major knock. <laughs> oh no, I'm not doing that one. Well, the RCM Mines. has to wait for another one because some army folks came oh. by, took it in the middle of the bay and blew it up. All oh, right. The blast was surprisingly timid for such a huge spiky thing. I mean, that sounds like some bomb disposal people. Spiky must have been a naval contact mine. Again, probably from the revolution, right? Of the, the war-y stuff. Um... Who are we looking for? All right, let's ask about the board. Sure is. The sun, I call her. Coated with a fresh layer of tar just yesterday. It'll take some time for it to dry, assuming the sunny days continue. The sun, that's a nice name. Mm. I'm looking for someone. Maybe you can help? Let's see. Who are you looking for? Oh, I'm looking for missing cryptozoologists. Uh, I don't think I know what these are. Care to elaborate? <laughs> um, people who look for imaginary animals. I'm going to say people who look for animals who are hard to find because it makes me look less weird. Aha, like snowmen. Snowmen? I haven't heard about those. Two old guys have been wandering around here, nose in sand, talking nonsense about snowmen and the like. Yes, that sounds like them. What's the like? Right. Not only snowmen, also green men, monkey men, burning rhinos. You get the picture. Sounds like our guys. Oh, you're getting it. And it is gorgeous. What? Where did they go? Know. Further down the peninsula, I guess. I mean, that's where they were heading. Who else are you looking for besides snowmen? Uh, that's it, but I've got a feeling there's going to be more. I will come to you for my info. Well, how can I assist you then, officer? Um, I was asked to get your signature. 
Are you? Hmm. This says by signing, I agree to living with construction noise. What exactly is the union building? Everard's planning to turn some of the villages into a youth, some of the village into a youth center. What a nice idea. Wouldn't have thought that. Uh, for what exactly? That Everard and the Union have nice plans for anything. I thought they only cared about themselves. Well, I guess Union members have children too. Oh, so now I can give her my pen to sign it, or on second thought don't sign the papers. I mean, if we can bust him for drugs, the contract would be void anyway. So... Maybe we should sign it for the sake of the case, you know? I mean, oh, if you say so. No, that's Probably not. Probably better that way. I mean, who likes construction noise? That's not what I meant to press. <laughs> I need a mouse mat, man. Evra and his plan for the village. I guess it does sound nice enough. He has a pen in everything. No, this is my pen. Oh, yeah, you're talking about me? She takes it from you, doubtful look in her eyes, clicks it and places a tip on the paper. Here you go. I mean, she didn't have to do it. Why'd you sign it? I shouldn't have. Uh. I mean, it's Everard, so it's probably a mistake. Probably, but it is a youth center and I have children. Got to give them something else to do. They're cute and small now, but they're grown up fast. I had my first drink when I was 11 because I was so bored. Yeah. Anyhow, you also need Isabel's signature. It's a bad idea. She won't sign. You'll find she's a tougher nut to crack than me. Okay, good information. Noob needs lessons in clicking every day. Every day I click the wrong thing. Sound logic. Division of labor. She leaves the skepticism to the skeptic. Okay, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Bit, I do that. Um. Oh, reassured her about signing the document. Did I? Did I really reassure her? Um. Okay. Well, that's fine though. So we we still need to find a good spot for a date. And come back when Kim's not here. Roz is asking for some food. I'm gonna take a quick break actually. I uh, just wanna go for a pee break because I'll continue streaming for a while. Um, so I'm just gonna BRB. Let's continue. Um, chocolate muesli. Oh. I fancy some kind of cereal. Like some sort of kitty cereal at some point all right so we finished speaking to her you take the legal documents out of the all right we still can't we can't interact with that that's just telling us it's updated I guess um so we've spoken to our first person over here and she's the person we need to come back to if we need to look for anyone all right let's speak to this lady <laughs> Wash a- oh crap, I missed this. Oh, inside you hear the cozy sound of some kind of heater sputtering. Okay, wash a woman. The woman next to a bucket of clothes hums an odd melody, her eyes are closed. Welcome to the fishing village. Please lean in closer. I have cataracts. Uh, lean forward, yeah, why not? Oh, welcome police officer. We don't cause any trouble around here. And we don't want any trouble either. That's good. We are not here to cause any trouble, madame. Um. Oh my god, I'm not saying this. We're cops, we're hellraisers. Click, click, bang, bang. <laughs> we don't cause trouble, we take care of trouble. Oh, of course. Last time we saw you around here was 12 years ago. You also came to take care of trouble then. Wish you did. But still, in Martinez, you're considered an ill omen. 
Oh, I mean that makes sense because we wouldn't be here if there was no trouble. <laughs> Excuse me, I am the law. Click, click, bang, bang. <laughs> um. No, I don't think she was talking specifically about us. This might as well be a kid's cereal, 15% sugar and chocolate flavor. Mmm, sounds good. No, not you personally. I met the RCM. Even Some I knew of that. Some men got into a fight. One of them killed another. Locked himself in that woodshed over there. The one... Oh, the building behind her. Not the one with the creepy chair then. He was boarding. Needed some help opening the door. You got it open for him and took him to think about what he'd done in a more secluded place. Somewhere more quiet. A prison cell? She says it as if he was on some kind of spiritual retreat. <laughs> yeah. What kind of vanilla woman are we talking about? Yeah, that sounds kind of sensible. Oh, the usual. Dark tidings. Black hound. That's you, all right. A black hound licking your own heels. Uh, both of these answers are not great. I am an ill omen, all right? No. If I'm considered an ill omen, why hasn't anyone told me that? Maybe they are afraid. Why? Because you're an ill omen. Yeah, well, I mean... But you're still welcome here. As long as men with guns aren't chasing you. And maybe even then. Because that's the kind of fishing village we've built. So they're a bit scared of us, but we're still welcome. Okay. I'm sorry there's not a lot of room to park the motor carriage. And not a lot of houses. Or a lot of people. My kids are long gone. Searching for treasure. So are others. Okay. Most people move on from this village. Ah, look at me ramble on. What brings you to us? Um... Oh, why could someone stay around here? Stay? Most people here are trying to leave. Anyone have a spare room? That said, if lodgings is what you're looking Ooh. for, I've got a free room in the shack. Uh, do I ask how much it is or do I say I don't know if I can afford it? Maybe I can get some sympathy points? I know, that's what I thought. Free is in free, but then we're answering how much is it? Free is in spare, maybe? I'm going to say I don't know if I can afford it just to see what she says. I won't charge you for it. Take it as a oh. gesture of goodwill from the village to the RCM. <laughs> hey lady, we will click click bang bang anyone who threatens you if you let us stay. Yeah, fuck you, God. Oh. Does this guy, God, who makes me give him money every night just so I don't die out in the cold? <laughs> um. Wait, hold on, you're just giving it to me? No one is using it, and God knows it's not much anyway. You can stay there. I'm not questioning it. I'm sorry, but I need to save more money. Okay, I'll take it. I will pay her back in other ways. Don't make an old woman regret opening her house to the police. Oh, we got a roomie! It's probably nicer than the threshold of an unclean hotel room. Yeah, and we're not going to smash it up like we did with that room. <laughs> well, if you are not in the hostel in the morning, I'll know where to find you. Here, in a shack. Yeah. He's a little relieved you're no longer in that room. Empathy? Why is he relieved? So that we're not next door anymore? Should he? This environment encourages one thing and one thing only drinking does it so what's in the fishing village just us it's barely a village anymore we almost don't exist what do you mean this is pretty much a non place a gap a blank spot on the map just a cluster of nameless shacks on a nameless street 
The place is so pornographically poor, it's not even funny. So, wait, what does pornographically poor mean? <laughs> um, I feel a bit like weird that she's just letting us stay instantly like that. Like, I feel like worried about in case anyone's gonna ever take an advantage of her. Um, is Mm. Is there a way to make a little money around here? Uh, I'm gonna ask. Here for you? No, officer. The only money we have here is some coins the drunks try hiding from their women and then forgot about. Oh, that's all that money we keep finding. Um. Well, I don't think it's in a sexy way. Wait, oh no, what? You stole all that money! <laughs> yeah, but they forgot about it, so technically it doesn't exist anymore. It was just the drunk men hiding their drink money from their women. <laughs> Serves them right for hiding things from their women. <laughs> Who else lives in this village? Well... There's Lillian and her kids. A few new folks live in the house to the east. But they are away right now. Live in the house to the east, but they're away. And then there's the drunks. Not a pretty sight, but there's little we can do about it. Home is home, even for them. All right, I met Lillian already. Lillian is tough. Tougher than the men here, at least. If it wasn't for her and the kids, this place wouldn't have a spark of life left. Yeah. So, like, maybe it's not the worst thing that they do make the youth center, like... Because even if it does make them move away, they might be able to find somewhere better. But they should sell now, before the construction starts. Although, that wouldn't really work since her whole life is organized around fishing and everything. She needs to be in a fishing village. Um, but now the women get nothing. <laughs> but I don't think that money was for the women, right? That was probably for their drinks and other expenses. That's always the trouble, right? Who would buy this and what could they possibly afford? Yeah, it's like, there's no good way around it. Except from if he just made a regular sized youth center and didn't take over the whole town with it. I haven't seen any drunks yet. Sooner or later, you'll see oh, for Oh yeah, yourself. I'm sure we will. Don't have to look long to find these guys. Yep. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna ask about the... No, I'm going to say this place, place is pornographically poor. The lack of wealth is the one thing we've got in abundance. The woman smiles cryptically. Riddles fits with the general ambiance here. No bleeping hurdles to try and justify taking the only money that these penniless women might have been able to get a hold of. <laughs> I need the money. <laughs> I need the sneakers, okay, and the speakers. <laughs> Aye, sometimes it's as though I'm also gotten lost inside this nameless nothing. Mm. I'm lost too. Oh, it seems to be a common theme these days. <laughs> I'm a sneaker, all right. <laughs> yep, I want the frog visor. <laughs> Yeah, it does seem to be a common theme. I'm in the process of finding myself again. Isn't that what people always think when they are lost? Something I can do for you to find your way, officer? Uh, well, you've already offered me a bed. That's very useful. There's got to be something here. Tell me. Over there, you can find more of the same. Sharks and trees growing wild. That's the pox. Between here and Jamrock, 
a dusty sea of old trees, all covered in industrial soot. Small houses under them, an overgrown park. The park doesn't sound good. An old military hospital and its surroundings. Or it used to be during the time of the suzerain. Are we gonna go and explore an old haunted hospital? After the war, it was turned into a goodwill hospital for shell-shock veterans and folks looking for some quiet in the old sanatorium gardens. Okay. Now the area is crisscrossed with nameless streets and makeshift cinder block houses. Shacks as far as the eye can see. What happened to the hospital? The goodwill ran out. The staff left and the place was shut down. It's long gone by now. Okay. That's interesting though. There's got to be more around that. We haven't heard about that yet. Alright, there's another topic I'd like to address. She nods, rinsing another piece of cloth. Alright, uh, what's further down the coast? Not much. There's the abandoned church, the Dolorian Church of Humanity. It's been there since before my time, even. Why is it abandoned? Some things just don't fly, officer. Look around. Who'd go to church here? They built it 300 years ago. Must have been nicer then. <laughs> Fair enough. So, they don't hold services there anymore? The Ecclesiastes. Oh, is that the name of the religion? No, we've tried. But things just keep happening. Crime, accidents, other things. The place never stays open. It's a pity. This used to be such a nice church. Hmm. She's not telling you all she knows. Oh. Keep her talking. Uh, well, I get the feeling you're leaving stuff out. What else is going on? Well, there's that music. Music from across the sea. It started a few days ago, and now it's blasting, even through the night. A party? And now, suspicious-looking people are sneaking around the church. I don't like that. Oh, what's going on at the church? Interesting. You could look into this ruckus, if you have the time. I would like to. What else is down the coast? Before you get to the church, there's some ruins, an apartment complex, or some kind of electrical plant. Run down bunch of houses. Empty. Empty houses sounds good for loot. It sounds culty right on my street. Why didn't I even think of cult? Yeah, I bet it's a cult. I think you're right. Okay. Which is it then? Apartments or electrical plant? I don't know exactly. A pre-war place. Mm. It used to be something. Before the war. I wasn't here then, you know. Was born in Samara. Okay. Anything else of note? Of note? The old fish market up on the boardwalk. But it's closed. I think we've heard about the old fish market. Uh, who'd want to... Oh, that sounds so rude. Who'd want to come to a fish market here? No one. That's why it's closed. <laughs> yeah. It was once a bustling place. Back when I was young, and so was everyone else. Yeah. Now, what catch we do bring in goes straight into a lorry for the Delta or somewhere else. Hmm. Okay, yeah. That's it? There's gotta be more along the coast. What? You're one of those real estate people with big plans? If you want a development opportunity, you can check out the abandoned building over at Lensen. Oh? Used to be a supply depot, we think. Sending goods and ammo across the bay. It's jammed shut though. We tried to get in, see if there was anything to sell or scavenge, but it's impossible. Mmm, well, I'm here now. I think we can find a way. And now you know everything there is to know about this coast. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nice, well. I'm going to have a look at the map afterwards to, to kind of point out the places that she just talked about. Um, tell me about yourself. Who exactly are you? No? Who exactly are you here? Me? No one. Just an old washerwoman. 
Oh. Mother called me Isabel, if that's what you're asking. And my married name is Sadie. Oh no. This is the other house we need to... Oh, this is the other signature. Time to find things to sell or scavenge before these poor old people can get hold of it. <laughs> yes. Now it's your turn, Mr... Uh, my name is Raphael. <laughs> no, Harriet Dubois. Quite a handle you got there. So many titles. One of them, double. Yeah. Oh, no. I don't want to get a say. Okay, let's have a look. I was asked to get your signature. Let's see what she says. Eh? What's this about? Come now. I can't read all the scribble. Tell me what it says. I'm going to come back with this. I don't want to lose my room for the night. Nothing good ever comes from paperwork in my experience. Yeah, oh God. Goodbye. All right, let's come back to that another time. I want to see our room. The door has seen better days. The layer of paint has started to peel off due to the salt and wind from the sea. Even the lock looks slightly rusted. All right, let's have a look. I'll wait outside to give you some time and privacy to check out your new living arrangement. But just so you know, after we are done with the day, I'll still be staying in the whirling in rags for the night. We'll meet in front of the shack in the morning. Yeah. The key turns with a satisfying click. But don't go. We can enter the shack now. Like, we're not done with the day, I'm just looking. <laughs> Don't leave me, Kim. Although if you do, you know, I'm gonna... I might end up hitting on a girl. <laughs> oh. The floorboards creak under our stair. <gasps> a jacket. A Korajev jacket. Fancy. Logic. Don't we already have a logic jacket? No, we have a logic shirt. We we have our outfit is logical. Uh, Kim's like, oh it's eleven thirty, definitely end of the day. <laughs> He's certainly asleep already. I hope not. Oh, I'm glad that it gives us, like, more space as we get more stuff. Um... Yay, we stole, <laughs> we stole a jacket. You see the waves, the sea, a church. Old science fiction magazines, books about bird watching, an almanac from 39. This intricate heat engine hums quietly, giving out pleasant warmth. A brisk coastal wind still howls against the window of the shack. Occasionally, the waves crawl in under the foundation, producing a low hum. The room feels muffled, like you pulled your hat over your ears. Outside, it is cold and windy, but you're inside, and it feels safe and warm. That's cozy. What? Is this place to you? Not this again. I don't like this ghostly voice. Um, my forward base for the coastal part of the operation. Uh, it's free. That's good enough. Oh, no, hold on. I was reading free as in I'm free, but no. <laughs> uh, looks like this is my new home. I'll just say my forward base. It could be my new home. Overhead, you hear the forlorn shriek of seagulls. Far below the birds, a wooden boardwalk filled with abandoned stands, tables and benches, echoes from a long lost time. A middle-aged man stands in a rundown shack on the edge of a fishing village, listening to the heater hum on the wall. 
That's us. Oh, I changed my mind. I want to choose again. No, this is fine. Outside, the howl of the wind has picked up. The waves crash against the stilts again. It's as if you think the thought, but in someone else's voice. At least if you quit being police now, you might become a fisherman instead of a bridge troll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look under the floorboards. What? Uh, <laughs> I don't want to look at the flower pods. Let's put that away. An old mirror hangs on the wall. Oh, you see the reflection oh, it's of your Sam. face in it. Okay. Adorned with the expression. No more steam in here too. <laughs> Oh, there's stuff here too. On the table, you see a bowl of water, a rough soap, and next to it, a small hand mirror. A Ooh. straight razor soaks inside the wash basin. Is she having the right call? The water reflects back a vague image of your face. Nose bulbous and red, hair unkempt, wrinkles lining the eyes and forehead. The stash is gigantic. You'll be looking like a pansy without the chops. No a physical instrument. Pansy. Okay, I want to shave. I want to shave. Please. Let's see. Your hand oh, fuck you. Your cheek. Oh no. That's not how a grown man shaves. Oh. No, leave it for now. We're gonna hurt ourselves. Thank God. I would have cut your throat. Yeah. The centipede is exaggerating. People don't actually cut their own throats when they're shaving. At least, not accidentally. Oh, God. All right. So we have to put another point in there to get it. And that will give us up to 58%, I think. And damage. Oh. I never click on it, so I always get confused. We could definitely put another point in there, that. We've got four. Oops. I might do it. Because I do... I would like to shave. I want to see if our portrait changes. Yeah, this shaving thing is big business. People notice, right? <laughs> the bed is comforting. If a bit run down. No. So where does she sleep? Because we just seem to have... Taking the whole house. <laughs> uh, we will be totally respectable then. <laughs> yes. That's the only reason that people aren't <laughs> taking us seriously right now. Uh, do I have any better hand eye coordination stuff? I don't think I do. I don't have anything reducing it either. Nah. On the table, you see a bowl of water, a rough soap, and next to it, a small hand mirror. A straight razor soaks inside the wash basin. <laughs> Kim, I will stay out here while you check out your new accommodation. Comes out 40 minutes later with a new face. <laughs> I hope so. Okay, send all of your best, smoothest shaving vibes, please. <laughs> we need to we need to try and uh not fail this check. Like an artist yes. with a brush or a master swordsman, you use the small mirror and the straight razor with some soap. 
to remove all that unkempt hair from below the nose line. Woo! Art cop! The sharp blade chafes against your skin, producing a scratching sound. The surface underneath the beard feels tender, the air brushing against it chilly. Look! We already look a little bit more, like, looked after. Feel your clean shaven cheeks. They feel so smooth, surprisingly so. It heals us! A feeling of freshness overcomes you, as if you just came from a cold bath. You are not entirely sure about the style. <laughs> I like it better than... The expression looks worse! <laughs> more visible but I just really didn't like those big long hairy side bits <laughs> maybe after you can start making the expression I would need to put a point in electrochemistry <laughs> um was shaving the right call the water reflects back a vague image of your clean shaven face despite the bulbous nose unkempt hair and persistent swelling you look a little younger maybe our hair's a lot longer in real life than it is in our picture, isn't it? You almost look like a professional. There we go, yeah, that's what I was aiming for. Um, I'm sure nothing bad would happen with just one more point. <laughs> just one more point. I mean, we did already fail a 90 odd percent one today, didn't we? <laughs> Where's electrochemistry? Oh wait, we haven't actually put any points in electrochemistry. And I have a ton of clothes that I could wear. I could do it, you know. Although it would be one of our highest numbers. Wait, has that unlocked itself again? <gasps> it has! It, it's done a thing! Right, hold on. Electrochemistry clothing getting worn. Uh, right, here we go. Uh, put the jeans on. The gloves. Oh no, we don't have as much clothes as I thought we did. <laughs> Plus two. Yeah. An old mirror hangs on the wall. You see your reflection in it. The expression fixed to your clean shaven oh, face. Oh, it's still so low. You're still not accustomed to it. Maybe this is something that's not supposed to happen quite yet. Um... Goes into the shack, comes out a whole new person. Yeah, Kim will be like, who are you and what did you do with Raphael Ambrosius Gosso? <laughs> yeah. Can we at least look in the mirror and see an extra good look at the new face? No, it's not even giving us the thing anymore. I bet though, if we, if we passed this one it would make this one a lot easier to pass do you know what i mean dig deep into your mind to locate the source of the expression if we could solve that that would make us be able to change it i would guess but i could still try it although i don't really want to put any more points into electrochemistry uh hold on let it be I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try no it. Mirror hangs on we the might wall. get. You see your reflection in it. Some points that we didn't the expression want. Expression fixed to your clean-shaven face. Yes, exactly, crafty. You're still we not can, accustomed to it. We can try it. If we fail, wait until the encyclopedia check probably opens it up again. Yes, let's do that. Still not happening. It won't come off that easy. Oh, fine, fine, fine. It's fine. Okay, we tried. Uh, but we shaved! 
<laughs> wow, electrochemistry. All right, let me just put my other clothes back on again. Uh, this one. I think that was it, wasn't it? Right, Kim? Do you notice a difference? The one time it fails for us. Electrochemistry also failed with the pawn shop owner as well though. Our electrochemistry is not as good as it seems. Look at Kim stood in the shelf. <laughs> Do you want to... Can you notice anything yes. about me? So, I shave. Yes. Uh, um, um, I don't know what to say. Uh, <coughs> Perhaps. Uh... <laughs> oh wow! That that's an a that's a reaction. Kim is one hundred percent right. Oh no, that is so awful. What is it? You can tell me, Kim. I'm not really sure about this turn of events. I think the mutton chops might have been a better idea. They sort of seem to cover up some of the... Oh boy, this is harsh. Damage. Either way, good on you. You are saying? I'm so glad that didn't damage our morale. <laughs> oh wow, that was absolutely savage. You know Kim is always right. You don't tell me after I've just done it and there's no way back. That I shouldn't have done it. <laughs> so the electrochemistry never does what you need. Always activates when you walk past some rum crusted on a table. <laughs> yeah. That's what my electrochemistry is. I'll glue them back on. <laughs> that will look good. No. Street sign is illegible below the graffito. Hard to see the details. The colours all warm and welcoming are cosy though. Oh, there's... Oh no. A flower trough where nothing really grows. Maybe in spring. I was like, oh, maybe our guys are up here looking for animals. But then I was like, no, that's a sandcastle. <laughs> Whose house are we going in now? Ooh. Ooh. It feels safe and warm in here, not like outside. Oh, we're alone in a house with a kid. I don't like it. <laughs> Sandcastle, insect, same thing. Industrial coal pellets burn with an orange glow. Taxidermy? We can take it? Don't tell me we're going to give it to God. The dead body of a grouse stuffed with some unknown material. From a distance, it might just pass off as the real thing. The bird itself looks extremely ruffled and slightly grumpy. Ooh. Um, you can't just walk into someone's house and steal their grouse. <laughs> what else would you do with it? <laughs> Hello, mister. Oh, little Lily. This has got to be Lillian's kid. A young girl, barely four or five years old, sits on the sofa. She is looking at you with frank curiosity. She clutches a small stuffed animal. Occasionally, she twirls it around. Oh, yeah, we're looking for the gloves. Uh... Are you Lillian's daughter? Yes. I am. Little Lily. Do you know my mom? Little Lily? Yeah, we... Oh, not really, but I'd like to. <laughs> we met earlier. That's nice. My mom is great. She's never angry or anything. She's never angry? Um, I heard there was a girl here who has armoured gloves. Is that you? Oh, 
I had gloves. Very big ones. Heavy, too. What happened to them? Where did you get these gloves? Good question, Kim. Found them when Lemmy and I were playing hide and seek. In an empty house. Where no one lives. I think someone hid them there. See, this is why we should be examining all the abandoned houses. Loot. She doesn't want you to think she stole them. Aw. Oh, and where are the gloves now? I hid them. The twins were going to take them. They're stupid. <laughs> oh dear. She lifts her stuffed toy up and looks into its one remaining eye as though searching for confirmation. We are going to need those gloves. It's for important police business. Oh. She doesn't seem to understand, but the lieutenant's tone has conveyed her to her the important part. They're in my sand castle. Oh! Behind our house. Under the sand. You can break the castle. It's not very good. I knew it! There was something about that castle. Unfortunately, it's not rare animals. But it is armour. Armour gloves. Um... What is, oh, do we show the bird? Yeah, what is this? It's a grouse. You might be able to get on Garth's good side if you replace the broken skewer, you almost certainly broke. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was about God. <laughs> um, what's it for? I don't know. Can I have it? I know someone who really likes stuffed birds. Sure. I mean, you already took it. I don't like it anyway. It looks angry. <laughs> oh no. Are you really stealing the child's beloved grouse? She doesn't like it anyway. <laughs> Little Lily, stop undermining me. <laughs> yeah, we don't stay there anymore. Screw you, God. Uh, what's that thing you're holding? It's Lammy. Oh. He's my friend. So, like... Lamby is a stuffed lamb that, admittedly, has seen better days. One of the eye buttons is missing, and the fur is tattered in several parts. Lamby looks soft. Yes, very soft. Oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna press my cheek against Lamby. Isn't he soft? Oh, he's morale. Oh, thank you, little girl. That's so cute. We've got full morale. Good little friend. Right, bye, little Lily. Bye. Oh, she's adorable. And I like the fact that her lamb has only got one eye. Gives it character. So we found the armored gloves. We've got to go to the sandcastle straight away. And this is our first quest for the day. Um, see, so oh, give him the grouse. We could sell it at the pawn shop. So soft, I feel better. Bye, I hope you can, oh, can find another place to live where they decide to give you a pigeon to knock down your house. Oh no, I'm sorry. Right, there's the twins. But before I talk to them, I'm going to... To here. Weather has not been kind oh, no. to this little sandcastle. The once mighty towers are quickly eroding away. You can see something oh, shining good. back to you from... What must have been a vast underground catacomb network. <laughs> Broken? The little castle? The reigning lord must have come upon some really tough times to let it sleep in such decrepitude. Let's break it, Ma. The walls and floors give way to the giant's greed, collapse and present you with a pair of ceramic gauntlets. Congratulations. That's the gauntlet down then. We're doing good on the armor collection front. Well, we've got one. Well, we've got two technically because we had the boots on the body. So, and we know where the head is. Well, we know that it got kicked into the sea. So we don't know where the chest piece is yet. Um, Sherlock Holmes wouldn't be convincing cool people to sign their freedom away. Oh no. I haven't done it yet. 
He can't do it unless he gets both of the signatures. 